Welcome to the session. Today we are going to cover how to deploy a Docker image to Azure Container Service. Azure Container Instances are the fastest and easiest way to run a container. Pre-requirements for this session is, you should have a basic understanding of Docker containers and a basic understanding of Azure Cloud Services. Also you should have an Azure account to deploy the Docker image to the cloud and you should install Docker in your local PC. Azure Container Services enables a developer to deploy containers on the Microsoft Azure Public Cloud without having to provision or manage any underlying infrastructure. Azure Container Registry is a service to manage private Docker registries for common storage across all your Azure Container deployments. The maximum size for a deployable container image on Azure Container Instances is 15 GB. First we will create an Azure Resource Group. Inside that we can have our container registry in the container instance. Resource groups in Azure is a new approach to group a collection of assets or resources in logical groups for easy or even automatic provisioning, monitoring, and access controlled and for more effective management of their costs. Let's create our Azure resource group. Name it node web app RG. Tags we can leave it blank for now. Once it is validated, click the create button and that will create the resource group. Now we can see the new resource group is created without any resources inside. Now let's create container registry. Resource group name will be pre-filled as we are creating this from the resource group. Name the registry to node web API. This registry name is used when we create the container instance. Go with public endpoint so that we can access this URL through internet. Encryption we can keep as it is. No tags. Once the verification pass, click the create button. It creates in few seconds. Here it is, we can see the resource is created now. Note the login server name is nodewebapi.azurecr.io. This server name is the same registry name.azurecr.io. The same details we can see at the access keys page. Also, we can make the admin user enable to get the username password. Currently this username password will not be useful as we are doing everything manual. When we use the CICD deployment this will be required. I will do a separate video for the CICD. Now check the repositories page. We can see no image has been pushed here yet. Our next step is to create a new Docker image and push it here. Let's do that. Open the quick start page where we can see the steps to create the Docker image and push it to the container registry. Instead of creating the hello world image, let's create a Node.js server application and access it from the browser. That will be more useful sample to try it out. Let's jump to VS Code and create one Node.js server which runs on 8080 port. All the source code which I am mentioning can be get from the Node's Docker page which is mentioned in the description section. As mentioned in the page, let's create the package.json file. Next is the server.js file. This uses the express which runs the server. Remove the host while the application is creating. This will avoid the confusion while running it on the cloud. Now create a Docker file in the same directory. Refer the Node.js site which is mentioned in the below description. This will load the Node Docker image to your PC from the Docker Hub. If your PC already having the image it won't again download it. I am not explaining the Docker file here as we are mainly concentrating on how to deploy the Docker into Azure Container Registry. Let's create the .docker ignore file as well. Next we need to build our Node.js application. Open the terminal and use the npm install which will create the node module file in the local PC. This can ignore if you don't want to run the application on the local PC. Anyway we are doing this step in the Docker file. Next main step is create the Docker image in the PC. To do this, we should have Docker installed in your system. If anyone don't have Docker installed in their local PC please install it before we go to our next step. Docker build command will download the image from Docker Hub. Also we can tag the image with node webapi.azure.io. This is the name of our container regsitry server name. Next we need to mention a dot which indicate the current directory contains the required files. After successfully build the image we can see the image by typing the command docker image ls. Here we can see the image is created in our local PC. Our next step is to push the image to the Azure Container Registry, back to the Azure Container Registry and see the quick start to get an idea how to log in and push your image to the Azure Container Registry. 
First part is log in to the Azure Container Registry from our local PC and then push the image. Let's log in by typing docker login node webapi.azurecr.io. This will prompt the username and password. We can get the container registry username password from the Azure Portal Container Registry page. Let's log in with the credentials. Because I have already logged in, it didn't ask me the details again. Next we can push the image using Docker Push. This will copy the image from local PC to the Azure Container Registry. Once it is successfully pushed the image, navigate back to the Azure Portal. We can see the image is pushed to the Azure Container Registry. Click on the image name, we can see the version name listed here. Next is to create the Azure Container Instance. Let's create it. Choose the previously created Azure Resource Group name. Mention the container name as Node Web API. If you want, you can prefix the container name with ACI to indicate that this is Azure Container Instance. Choose Image Source. As we already created the image in Azure Container Registry, we can choose the second option. Now we can choose the registry image and image tag from the drop down. Also after seeing the image Azure will change the OS type to Linux. Now one major part is to choose the size of the container. Let's go for one CPU with 1.5 GB. Be careful on this as this is a paid service. Next keep it public, then only we will be able to access the node server from internet. Let's provide a DNS name label. This will allow the server to access it with the DNS name. So later it can be accessed with the URL like node webapi.centralus.azurecontainer.io. Keep the advanced tab without any change. Tags also no change. Once it is verified, click create. It may take couple of minutes to create the container instance. Let's go to the newly created resource. Here we will be able to see the basic information about the container instance. Open the containers page where we can see our Docker images running. To see the Node.js server is running inside the Docker, we can access the URL from a browser. Server is returning a JSON response as hello word. That's it for now. Thanks for watching the session. See you on next session with some exciting topics.